Hey everyone, just another quick video. DJI has announced and released a new firmware update to the Mavic Air 2. This one is version 1.00.0460. This is more of like small quality of life things. Just make sure that you have a 40% battery or higher charge. And of course, update the firmware, fire off the controller, the uh, app, and also the drone. Make sure everything's connected and then wait for the prompt to install it. It is about 180 megabytes, so make sure that you have a stable data connection in order to download that firmware. So just like we saw with the release of the Mini 2, we saw an immediate firmware update, uh, which allowed us to use the Mavic Air 2's controller to control the Mini 2. Same thing is happening here, but in reverse, where we can now use the Mini 2's controller in order to control the Mavic Air 2. So it's a really nice update. It allows us to use a single controller for either drone and uh, just reduces the amount of hardware that you have to pack in your backpack whenever you're trying to have both drones. Next, the default return to home is now going to be set to 100 meters. DJI uh, had a lot of instances where the drones were running into trees, I guess, so they just decided to make the 100 meter the default return to home. Now, no, if you have a custom altitude value set after this update goes through, you will need to go back into those settings and reset up your uh, custom return to home altitude. Uh, the downward vision sensor altitudes have been increased to 30 meters. This should help keep the aircraft stable. If GPS is unavailable, your vision sensors should be at 30 meters and help hopefully give you a little bit more stability when you're at that or below. Uh, changes to the startup have been made. They have reduced the speed in which the fans fire off when you first turn on the drone. It should no longer sound like a 747 for as long as it does. Uh, and they also reduce the volumes of the beeps and tones during the initial boot process. Changes to the detection and app alerts when, prope uh, when propellers are unfolded. I was unaware that the drone had uh, any way to detect if propellers were installed or not. I know that there was a prompt when you'd first go to launch that it would say, hey, double check your propellers, make sure that they're on the right arm, but I didn't realize there was a, a detection system built into it. So they've made some changes to that. We should see an improved prompting for that. I'm not exactly sure. If you have a little bit more information, I would love to know. Leave that down in the comments. Uh, improved anti-interference ability in challenging areas. Um, I haven't tested this one a lot. I did run the drone out for a full battery just to make sure that the firmware update, everything went smooth. I didn't run into any hiccups. The drone worked really well. Um, and I live in a high urban area. So for those of you that also live in like high dense urban areas, you should see some improvement with the way uh, interference affects the drone. There were some spots before the update that I would fly over Video may have gotten a little choppy, signal may have gotten a little choppy, and it overall was a pretty a pretty smooth flying process. So I, I hope we see a little bit more decrease in the inter interference uh, heading into the drone. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Like I said, it was a pretty minor update, but some quality of life things that I definitely think were worth noting. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video and you got something out of it, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. 